Oh gosh, it was uh, what a roller coaster. I mean, we you know, didn't look good early. They were taking some good swings against, you know, and uh, he fits through maybe the maybe the top six five guys facing in the. If we get uh, Hagen, um, which we did, we were, which yeah. we did. Really good. Yeah. I mean, he struggled. He just got it up where he wanted it, but he all was coming out of his hand here. That was a movement. Like I said, it's that stuff good. was good. And he got, he got, got in. that inning. Uh, yeah, great play. Uh, uh, get out of it and then brady created another mess in the ninth he got out of it um you know we were just due for a big swing uh we've we've been battling it a little bit driving in some people and uh, um the two at bats before the home run were really good i mean jay sporfin Gets down in the count, one, two, and then stays inside a pitch and hits it extremely hard, kind of right, you know, pretty close to the shortstop, and he got by him. It was a really hard play, and ball was hit extremely hard. And uh, and then, obviously, Webb, I think he's down in the count, one, two, battles a couple pitches, fouls off a pitch, takes ball three and then ball four, and uh, – kind of thinking, wow, you know, it's pretty good at bat. Something good's going to happen. And, you know, and then Kendall Diggs, who had had, in my opinion, three really good at bats, I think leading up to that last one, um, just felt like he didn't have any luck. He hit two or three balls hard at people. And uh, I think the center fielder went out back on a ball. I think he lined out this, I don't know, short or somewhere. And he just kind of felt like it was going to be a, a his moment. And, when when he kind of waved at that ball in the dirt to make it a two two count, uh, you know they thought, oh, we're going to go back to that pitch again, and we're going to get him, and he didn't he didn't bite on it, and all of a sudden you got a three two count. They had to make a decision. He's seen two breaking balls in a row. We're going to try to slip a fastball by him, and uh, you saw what happened. It was just a really really good swing. What went into the decision to start Kendall tonight, and then also um, how? How difficult is it to not be an everyday guy like him and, and still swing the bat as well as he did today? Well, the decision was made. I told the, the coaches last night after the game, we were sitting in the locker room and I was just going through some things, thinking about the pitcher that we were going to face tonight and uh, going to make a couple of changes. And I said, I'm going to I'm going to DH Kendall Diggs tomorrow. And then I went in my office, kind of hung out in there for a while, and I wrote up a lineup before I went home. And that was the lineup I went with. Cause I didn't come in till afternoon. I needed to get away for just a little while. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta clear your head a little bit. And, uh, it, I mean, maybe I felt guilty a little bit that I haven't played him a little more honestly, cause he's got a really good swing. He's had some illness and he's had a couple of injuries and, you know, when he's healthy, um, if, if he swings about like he did today, he's not coming out of the lineup. If whether he's playing in the field or DH, so we need that. All things considered, how big was it to win tonight? We needed to win big time. I and mean, we, we had lost two SEC games in a row. You know, last Sunday's game was a heartbreaker, 11 10, left tying and go ahead run. Second and third, nobody out, top of the order. Guys were frustrated. It was a tough trip home. And, uh, you know, it was it was rough. You know, then we have one, you know, nail biting game on Tuesday on a road trip and walk it off on a wild pitch. Don't feel good about the way things are going. And then, and then yesterday, kind of the same way. You know, we just we just we just couldn't get to them. And uh, you know, only got about what six hits tonight, seven hits, and we had to we had to work for them. I mean, that uh, Elliot he threw really well. I mean, he's. Fastball away to right-handers, and he busts you in every now and then. Good change up, and 
he threw a lot of pitches and uh, we, we fought him a little bit when he, he just made a couple mistakes. And, uh, but yeah, that was a huge win for us tonight. Just, just to win, just to feel good about it. The way we won made probably made it even better. The, the double play y'all got to end the ninth was, did they call that the runner left the base path or what went down yeah, right there? He did leave the base path to, to avoid the tag. I mean, it wasn't like Robert fielded it behind him and ran after him. Robert kind of fielded it up in front of him and then went back after him and he got out of there. And once he did that, you know, we thought the arm should have gone up and Robert did a great job just completing that play. And, you know, I saw a quick glance on the, on the scoreboard or you could on the, on the video board and it looked like he really went out of the baseline to avoid the tag. And then for, for Tiger to come in with the bases loaded, no outs. I mean, how big was it for him to get out of that with just allowing the one run? Pretty amazing. I mean, really he gets, with the, their leadoff hitter to hit into a double play, something like that. I don't remember all of it because it seemed like it happened the last three innings in a row. But, uh, I mean, that was huge. And and he got the double play ball he, on a on a, uh, on a a fastball, not a breaking ball. So that was good. Um, tonight, he didn't command the breaking ball like normal. Tonight, he commanded the fastball a little bit better. So uh, that, that, was, that was huge. I mean, we were just living on the edge the last two innings. He had two on against their three, four hitters. The, the, I mean, the quality of hitters that he yeah. got out there in the ninth. How, how, I mean, does that make it a little bit more impressive what he was able to do? I mean, it does. You're talking the heart of the order. They're talking some some real men that they can hit. They're older, experienced, and, you know, I think he fell behind them too. And then he, then he had to work his way back and uh, spotted up a couple fastballs, got a couple breaking balls in there. And, you know, he fell behind Elko at 2 0. And then, uh, I think he threw two fastballs away for strikes and then came back with a breaking ball. And it was, it was a good one. How would you assess Taylor's uh, performance? Cause he, he walked the three in the eighth, but he got out of a pretty big jam too for you in the seventh. Thought his stuff was good, you know? And, and I mean, you think about it, he was just missing really one, one more pitch needs to go our way. I mean, uh, the full count pitch could have gone either way. You know, that's, we call that a 50 50 ball. And that's the one that it seems like we haven't been getting or with they're calling it against us. And you just, you just got to keep fighting until things turn turn around. That's what I told the position players the day before the game. We we can't complain about the wind, the weather, the umpires, anything. We have to fight, and things will flip. It's just the way this game is, and they kept fighting tonight. So, Jesus, you started him against the lefty, so his splits against lefties are pretty good. Yeah, he good. was he was hitting. 500 at maybe a little more against lefties going into night. Not a lot of at bats. You're talking six or seven at bats, but maybe three hits, three for seven or something. I don't know what he is. Uh, yeah, I mean he's got a good swing. He can he can hit right or left handers. All right.